And I heard this vaccine is supposed to grow you a mustache and a beard. I ain't gonna lie, I'm all for it. Snow, man. I don't know who's gonna shovel all this snow. I can't do it. I can't do it. Today's the day. See, I didn't leave as soon as I ate breakfast. Yes, I watched ESPN. Um, basically, I wasn't uh, doing what I was supposed to do. It did snow last night, so I'm not gonna record me driving to the facility. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, people don't know how to drive, especially in the snow. There's no more nerves. It's basically, let's get this over with and let's see what's in store. I don't remember the last time I got a flu vaccine, but I did get it uh, last month. This is a little different. Definitely an eyebrow razor. Definitely an eyebrow razor. There's no long-term symptoms. Uh, how, 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 how you know? How? Hold on, bro. How? How you? I'm saying, how, like, talk to me, bro. You the police? Please tell me how you know these things. Like, how do you know, you know, in a uh, year or two, you know, you know. But I'm not going to get into that. I am trusting in our scientists so to say uh more importantly i'm trusting in god so that's where i'm at with it that's that's what it is that's what it was and that's that's how we're gonna go about it in a sense i am kind of excited i'm nervous i have several emotions going on right now <laughs> i'm so damn confused <laughs> but at the end of the day i'm about to crank this car up I'm about to get this gas. Uh, maybe, maybe a Kit Kat. Because I ain't had a Kit Kat in a minute. I might get a Kit Kat. I might get a Kit Kat. Because I ain't had a Kit Kat in a minute. Um, super random. Um, but, yeah. I'm on my way. And... I will get back uh -huh. with y'all once I get to the facility. Let's get it, man. Okay, so Pete, I just pulled up to the facility. I'm about to get out. I'm about to walk up to the facility. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. We masked up too, you know what I mean? N95, because, yeah, we live. Baby, me and Daniel son live, baby. Uh, Shit me up. Shit me up. Boom, I'm back. I'm masked up. Shit me up. It's it's about that time. It's it's about that time. I'm not nervous. Low key, I am nervous. I'm not nervous. But who's not nervous when it comes to new things? It is cold too. I should definitely add that it is cold as shit. Cold. I'm not sure if I can record in this facility, but I'm about to walk in. We'll update y'all soon. Hey. Okay, so he's mixing up the vaccine now, and it's almost time. You see, I got my arm on. You see them biceps? Oh, no. You see them biceps? Big swole. Boy, if you don't. Okay. So I'm just 
Wow, it's crazy how powerful your words can be. Like, it's scary. This is the next day. Um, as far as the symptoms, yes, I did feel symptoms. My kidneys were hurting. Like, I had a light headache, like, as soon as I got the shot. They went away after a while. Like, as far as my kidneys, that kept me up all night. I did go to the store. I picked up a few things. So, here's my top five. Top five. Five. Top five. Top five. Top five. Vitamins, supplements that I picked up there that I would recommend someone to pick up after they got the vaccine. These are all based off of the symptoms that I felt. If you have similar symptoms, these are five things that I would recommend you getting. I'm explain everything about them. Well, briefly, I'm not gonna go into details. Uh, quite frankly, like shoot, you got Google just like I got Google. Did I? Google me. You are Do you Google's truck? Okay, number one on my top five list: B juice. Definitely a good source of potassium and other minerals such as iron and zinc. Um, definitely recommend you drinking a lot of water if you are drinking beet juice and don't drink beet juice a lot. Um, maybe a half a cup, uh, twice, maybe three times a week, but definitely good. For okay, number two, we have cod liver oil. Um, several people, you know, I've heard that they had swelling in their arm and things of that nature. Uh, cod liver oil it helps with inflammation. Um, so that's something that's that's good. And it has a good source of vitamin D as well. So cod liver oil is something that I definitely recommend. Okay, number three on the list. We have omega-3 from fish oil. Um, like I stated before, I had minor chest symptoms. Uh, and this automatically led me to omega-3. Definitely good source for lowering your blood pressure. But more importantly, it is good for the heart. Very good for the heart. Number four on the list, we have milk thistle. Uh, many research show the health benefits from uh, milk thistle, um, including liver, heart, so it helps lower cholesterol, uh, helps with diabetes as well. So this is something I definitely recommend you getting. Last but not least, we have black seed oil. I've been taking this for over a year now, highly recommended. Um, it's linked to killing several cancerous cells, uh, lowering your cholesterol, um, lowering diabetes, uh, also um, reduces stomach aches as well. Highly recommended. I really appreciate. I really appreciate y'all watching this video, watching my videos. Appreciate all the love. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, hit that ding. Hit that zring. Um, the feeling is mutual always. You already knew that though. Here's my little two cents. Don't spend it all in one place.